but this particular self-help book was written by um, a man who is not only well he started out about life as a physicist he became an MD, he practiced medicine then he became board certified in psychiatry and psychoanalysis and cognitive science he has shown physiological evidence via MRIs and brainwave scans that the system that he's invented it's called the identity system and its techniques for resting what he calls the identity system getting it under control bridging um, to have a physiological basis this is based in science it's not based in feel good anything there's a little bit of that coloring in the book and, and the write-up for it and a lot of that I think was the publisher anyway Dr. Stanley Block is from Utah as well um, or taught at Utah Um, taught psychiatry at Utah, or, U, or excuse me, at, uh, at the University of Utah. Um, he also is a um, professor of, well, not a professor, but he teaches um, law also, although I think he has a law degree, he teaches law in Seattle. I think he specifically teaches medical law, though, I'm not sure. But, the bottom line is, this book did more for my mental state in the first few days that I had it than anything I've ever read before in my life. Again, it's called Come to Your Senses, Demyst Demystifying the Mind-Body Connection by Stanley H. Block. You want to make sure that you get the second edition. Um, this thing um, has literally become, oh, I should also say that the guy's a Zen master too. Um, he turned it down, the physician, he won't mention that he's a Zen master in here because he really doesn't want to associate, I, I think, religion, any religion with the system. Um, but this book has kind of become kind of like a Bible for me. I mean, if you can see how I've uh, marked out all the marked out so many of the pages and made underlines and, and notes um, yeah if you've ever studied Buddhism and you know anything about um, about awareness um, the concept of awareness and detachment in Buddhism you'll know you have a, a, an idea of what the system is about. Oh, and by the way, this is not a Lord of the Rings pipe. I forget who said that. This is what is called a Danish freehand church warden. It was made by a gentleman um, who's passed away recently, unfortunately. Uh, his name is Bjorn. Anyway, um, that pretty much sums up uh, everything I wanted to cover. Except to say that um, even though I do feel pretty good right now, the last few days and weeks have been very emotionally tough on me. Part of it's been medication changes, a part of it has been external influences, um, some social faux pas that um, really resonated, it, it kind of hit a raw nerve in a certain place, that um, 
but I'm not going to go into that because, well, quite frankly, it would bore you, and I'm pretty sure you've all experienced it. So, what I'm going to do now is, uh, I think I'm going to sign off. Let, uh, let you sinners, uh, get back to your sinning. Anyway, this is Rob. I'll see you around. Or not. Yeah, I'll see you around. <laughs>